I'm sorry. That was rude. <laughs> Let's start all over. Um. <laughs>
the face powder that you'll see me use like i have the prototypes but for me packaging is where like the hold up is so most of the formulas are done it's just um i'm picky about my packaging like i honestly want to say and this is being completely transparent the only thing that came out right for me was my lash back lashes packaging this is exactly what i wanted like they understood the assignment because i wanted it to look like a um nutrition label and it does and people come in like, all the time and i really i really like that but um like the makeup palette didn't look how i wanted it to look but i already had the product and it was too late to change it so i was like why not um the brushes i was going for a different style they do look how i want them to look they do come with like and you're not going to see this but if you go to the website they do see i don't even know i don't have a real camera this is my phone but you will just see cookbook written on the brushes um starting off with the spoolie brush double ended but either way like i had to realize it's gonna always especially with me launching just because even though things weren't finished i did it because it was gonna always be something else that needs to be fixed i need to be needed to be corrected and i had to learn that things aren't perfect there's no point in me sitting on x amount of products that you see in the background just holding on to it waiting to launch when you have it you might as well get it over with and it was really just me being scared so i'm glad that i did um you know just launch it launch it unprepared launched it prepared prepared launched it scared i'm just ultimately proud that i did it because people know with anxiety you can come up with 101 reasons to not do something. Cause this is my baby. And even though I was, whew, I was anxious and overwhelmed and even discouraged, still kind of discouraged. I'm gonna keep going. Like I'm still gonna have my products come out. It's just prolonged. Um, I did launch lip glosses that sold out completely. Um, and I wasn't expecting those. The packaging wasn't even right. So it was just, and that's a whole nother story. And I don't even have any more to show y'all, but like I got the lip glosses. The first part was like just a big sticker. And I was like, what is this? And that was like, we can redo it. I was gonna have to send them all back and wait another like three weeks. And I was like, no, if I have them, I just took the sticker off. And then I bought a um, Cricut machine and I just put like, they're, it's it's just the whole thing but i had to go in and relabel every single um label and then i had to the boxes didn't come with the lip gloss because it's supposed to have like the ingredients and my logo and all this other stuff and look like um a lip glaze type of box and it didn't come like that my nose is itchy so it was just a hot mess and i was just like so discouraged because social media can really get you and I was really like, wow, look at all these people with all these amazing products. And I bet they didn't have to go through this. Like, And lip gloss is one of them popular products that everybody needs, but everybody also sells as well. So I was like, I don't want to be just another person who sells lip gloss. Um, and I think that's the reason that I have the lash fact lashes, not only because I like the individual bottom lashes, but because I didn't want to be another person Um who sells like lashes or just lip glosses or what X, Y, and Z. And not saying that there's anything wrong with that because I am a strip lash queen. Like I support anybody who, I'm a, I'm a buy some lashes. Like just that, that's just that. Um, I think it's just more so I wanted my own product and I want it to be what makes my product different from the next person is how I was thinking like, not that you can go anywhere. You can go anywhere and get some lashes for sure. But can you go anywhere and get my lash fact lashes? And I don't think you can. And that's not even me being um, like bragging or anything. That's just being honest. Um, I have seen people who bought like four or five packs because they're like, wow, I was looking for these. I don't know where to get them from other than like Amazon or 
order them from like his website or something like that. And I was like, well, no, nah, girl, you know, I got them. Um, another thing, I don't want people to think that like, I'm mean or rude or like, just uninterested. However, a lot of times like people will approach me or, okay, so I do pop-up shops. This is just context behind that last comment. I do pop-up shops, and for those who don't know, it's kind of like a farmer's market, but for businesses, um, not just food, produce, or nothing. It's just anything and anybody that can be become a vendor at these pop-up events, and um, you pay your vendor fee, and you go and like set up a booth. And I think in my last um, video, I just added a clip at the end where I was at a pop-up shop. Now, the situation was, to the point of that comment was, I had people walk up to me and they're interested in makeup, you know, but um, it's kind of like, you know your target audience. Um, it's just a lot of stuff that I learned. I had to learn how to set boundaries when I became an entrepreneur. Well, I already knew how to set boundaries, but I knew how to set boundaries and stick to my boundaries as an entrepreneur. I learned that my price is my price. Um, of course, I do deals or sales. I picked up another fluffier brush. This is, so that first brush was my um, flat eyeshadow brush. And this brush is my, wait a minute, flat blending brush. I'm so like, what's going on? Yeah, out of this flat br blending brush. And I'm still going in with cornbread. I wanted it a little bit deeper and that brush just wasn't doing it for me. Um, So yeah, that's just that. And I think a lot of people from the pop-up shops follow me. So um, if I'm tripping, yeah, please let me know. Cause I also have had people who tell me like, oh, I wish you would engage more or I wish you would come out and talk more. But I think people don't realize like I have really bad anxiety. I've always had anxiety, anxiety, especially social anxiety ever since I was a kid. Like I remember being like the first time I think I realized I had it, not realized, but the first time I remember having anxiety, I was little. I was like in kindergarten and it was like kindergarten graduation. I'm a twin for those who don't know. Um, where was I going? Where was I going with that? Um, I'm a twin for those who don't know. But anyway, who's at my kindergarten graduation? Is me and my sister. My name is spelt before hers, but I made her go first because I was scared. Like I did not want to go on stage, and I was like, um, she was like holding my hand, and I was like, I don't really want to do this. She was like, it's okay. Like it's gonna be real quick. Like just comforting me, and I just remember like it wasn't the fact that. It's different from stage fright. It was more so just socially, I didn't want to be in that area. I wanted to go home. So um, people don't realize, just thinking that far back, having an anxiety attack before you graduate from kindergarten, like my stuff is deep rooted. Ultimately at pop-up shops, like I'm gonna of course speak and get my product out, but it takes a lot out of me to do that. It takes a lot out of me to like approach people, especially socially, like, and looks, like I said, can be deceiving because you will look at me and be like, oh, okay, she's well put together. And this is just what people tell me. This is not what I think of myself at all. It's just more so, oh, okay, she's well put together. Um, X, Y, and Z, she has a nice, um, set up like you took real good time i have one of those um retractable retractable banners and it has like my face on it um you can go back to that other video and look at it but um like my face is everywhere so with that people just assume like there's nothing internally going on but in reality i'm scared not okay i'm not scared but it's just my anxiety is at an all-time high at every single pop-up shop. So yeah, I'm taking hot cocoa with this blending brush. 
So regardless, um, it's not to be rude or mean to anybody. I just want people to know that like, other people deal with stuff and anxiety ain't nothing to play with. Like anxiety ain't nothing to play with. Like, I did learn a lot becoming an entrepreneur and I do have a lot more to learn. Um, I do have my LLC. These products are products that I created. This is not like, and I'm not knocking nobody who does it, but I'm not just going out and going on like AliExpress and buying a whole bunch of products and then reselling it. Like this is me. I created this, like mix colors together. Like, no, I don't like the formula is too dry or it's not pigmented enough to create it. Like, um, and I'm super proud of it. And I want people to respect that because I'm gonna always show my respect to others and I'm gonna always set my boundaries. So the price is the price. I think I did say that already. And my anxiety is real, especially becoming an entrepreneur. That's not going nowhere. And I had to realize that, um, but also I'm working through it, you know? That's a long-winded response. I'm gonna finish blending and come right back. I said I was gonna finish blending and come right back, but um, I remember I told y'all I got hooded eyes. I had to bring the cocoa up further. You better. I hope y'all can see that. I, yeah, I had to bring the hot cocoa up further. So it's a little different from here because if I look straight ahead, you see this more than you see that. I hope that makes sense to y'all. Uh, because when I cut the crease, I don't want to lose all that work that I just did. So, yeah. I really just got on her because life is ghetto. I just want y'all to know that. I'm still blending hot cocoa, same brush and everything. I'm just, and not necessarily new products. I'm just making sure it's blended in the places that I want it. It's to go and diffuse in the places that I don't want it to be super strong here. Um, but yeah, life is ghetto. Life is super ghetto. And I, um, I'm over it today. Like I've been trying to be more mindful. I've been telling people I'm 30 because I want to be more mindful. And that's just a reminder for me. I use it as an excuse or I, I, they know I'd be playing, but like, um, I, it's just me being mindful that I'm finna be 30. And a lot of stuff that I've, I've done in my twenties, I still got two more years. Technically my birthday is in May 3rd coming up. Um, but I just want to be mindful of the stuff that I'm doing. I want to be mindful of and conscious of like decisions that I'm making and how's it going to impact me in the future. Like, so that's the real reason I've been telling people I'm 30 because I don't want to keep moving like I'm 20. Okay, so I'm going to use my nasal contouring brush. It's really for your nose, but I want it. You will see. I'm going to take it and go into um, pepper. And I'm gonna put it on the outer edge. Ooh. Ooh, pull the outline. You see it, you see it. So, okay, so what I'm doing now is blending the hot cocoa with the, um, what is this color called? Pepper. I did put a lot on there, but that's because I wanted a really deep cut crease. Like, I want you to see it. I want you to see it. You see it, you see it. And I also wanted to wing up. Like, my face is fat, so I can, like, see my natural line. But for those who don't, if you put the, like, brush at an angle, from the tip of your eyebrow and make sure it touches your like outer thing that's where your um that's where you blend up it to get that winged out look because i'm not good with one liners 
So I'm doing a cut crease. What I'm doing is taking the concealer brush that I use for my eyebrows, using the same concealer, put it on the back of my hand. Um, I always start at the base of my eye and I usually try to like look up. Yeah, I usually try to like look up because I have hooded eyes and it will just create me a new crease above where my natural crease lies. So if I'm looking like that, you can see where it got. I kind of look down for you to see it. But you can see where it got up there. So that is where my new crease is going to be. The same two colors, pepper on the outer edge, no new product, and um, kind of blend it in, create that, and I kind of look down, I hope you can see me, kind of look down, I didn't want it too dark, I'm not going nowhere, I just want that disclaimer to be known, and then I'm taking that same brush. And where that pepper is, I'm gonna blend back and forth with hot cocoa. Okay, I didn't do anything off camera. Um, I got my shader, oops, shader um, eyeshadow brush. It looks like this. There is a lip brush that looks like this. This is the bigger one. Um, on this eye, since it doesn't necessarily look like that eye, I'm gonna take hot cocoa on this brush and kind of like go over the outer edge of this to kind of give it that eyeshadow, like that shadow effect, not eyeshadow effect, but. I'm gonna just stamp out Yeah, stamp it out a little bit With hot cocoa and the other side don't need to be done then I'm gonna go back in with that first brush that we used with um, cornbread. This is the flat eyeshadow brush. Yeah, flat eyeshadow brush. Dip into cornbread and go above those edges. Cornbread acts as an eraser and a blender. So it's gonna blend hot cocoa with cornbread. Get rid of any harsh lines. So yeah, now it's all about blending. So I'm gonna be blending up. I think another issue people run into when they're doing their eyeshadow is they don't take enough time blending. They wanna do it and get done. But if you're gonna do eyeshadow, you gotta do it. So take your time and just make sure everything is blended. It won't hurt. I think that's why I only do these types of looks for special occasions, cause I know I'm going to start getting ready like two or three hours before time. Um, and I like doing my makeup, so that's okay for me. But for those who don't, that might be too long of a timeline. And that's cool, too. I'm actually, I want some more definition. So I'm going to go back in with that same brush with hot cocoa. But I'm going to take um, pepper. 
pepper and only on the tip of it. Dust it off and then go back in. Every so lightly. And put pepper right on top. I wanted to give it the smokiness. Like this halo type effect. So that should do is a halo. Now, after you do that, you're going to have this, like, let me get closer. So, you see where I just put pepper at? I am going to now go back in the same brush. I'm going to kind of, like, put more, the access on my arm to make sure nothing else is there. And go back in with hot cocoa to kind of blend out or blend together that line that I just did. With um, this brush and go back in with hot cocoa to blend it out. So I'm gonna just redefine it just slightly. Thing, but I'm gonna just still go back in with them um, cornbread. I mean, hot cocoa on the same brush. I'm trying to hurry up because I feel like this video is gonna be about two hours. Once again, with that little um, flat eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna go back in with pepper and just kind of like go back and forth.
I got, I had this palette. This is gonna be like a spring velvet, a springtime or like, I don't know what this was for. Um, like a special edition palette, but I used this color. Um, I need to swatch it. I already did my lids. It's like a skin tone, like a, I don't even know how to, it's like a rosy, it's velvety. It's kind of like this one. It's kind of like that one. Hold on. I don't even know. It's not. I don't know how to explain it, but I use this one. It's like a a color. <laughs> like a color. Just get liner, so I'm gonna go in with not that brush, with that flat shader brush that got cornbread on it, and tap into figgy pudding. Come on, bro. And um, go in between this muted color. and blend those three together. Here to stay. Cookbook still releasing new products. Um, I got an issue with going with the flow because I had a timeline of stuff that I wanted to release and like X, Y, and Z, like I was saying earlier, but when stuff don't go that way, I'm like, I don't want it and I can't do that. I'm learning how to not do that. I need to just go with the punches because you can't plan everything, you know? Um, I'm about to prime my face, do my foundation, come back with I have done my sick. Actually, let me show y'all the products that I use. I have to put this um, e.l.f. poreless putty primer. I have big pores, so I use like the pinkish one. And then the foundation I use is always the same. It's the Milk um, Makeup Foundation in um, I'm Cinnamon. That's my skin color for the winter time. And then I'm also using the Dream Urban Cover by um, Maybelline New York. It's the Broad SPS, Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Come on, Christian, talk full coverage. Um, and 340 Cappuccino. So I mix these two together because this is a little bit warm and this is a little bit more neutral. Um, together it makes my perfect transition shade. And I just put dots all over my face. And then I really only use these two concealers now to highlight.
It's the drum end. Face is sitting. I use this brush with uh, rose for inner corner. A mini fan brush, and I'm gonna do a little brush with figgy pudding, both sides. Tap off excess. Smile. Apples of your cheeks is like the roundest part. And it just gives you like a subtle blush, no blush type situation. Same thing. Do a little bit more. That is, what is this, Holiday Punch? Okay, went a little overboard. That's all right. I 
I'm just playing. Um, so yeah, that's that. Now I'm going to go in with our mini shader and go in with um what's this color? I'm gonna do figgy pudding first in the bottom lash line, and then I'm gonna go over with the uh, Figgy pudding first, and then go over with hot cocoa. Well, um, flat eyeshadow brush with a uh, low key quick. I should have wiped it off. I forgot I used pepper. But what's done is done. So I'm gonna dip into hot cocoa and then bring it up. It's a little sultry. It's like, mm. yep. And then I'm gonna spray my face down. I just want y'all to see. This is what it's looking like. I have not sprayed my face at all. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I used the wrong lip liner. Um, one of them is a little bit more cool tone than the other, and I like the one that's red. Here it is. It's a red. It's from the dollar store. So it's a little bit more warm. It looks better. Eleven thirty in the club is chocolate. Okay, right, yeah, I am still gonna throw these on, and then I have some lashes. I've been wearing. Throw these on. These are by Cavalli Lash. I don't know if y'all follow her on um, TikTok. Her lashes be like four, four dollars, but they're minks, so they're beautiful. Like they wispy. Cavalli Lash. Go check them out. She be snapping. She be snapping. So yeah, I'm gonna throw these on and be back. Okay, hey y'all, I'm back. So all I did was add the Cavalli Lashes that I mentioned. I think this is Style C4. They are fire though, like fire. If I did sell lashes, they would only be mink lashes. So these are it. And then I did throw a little bit of the same lipstick that I always wear. This is a Dollar General brand. Um, bear it all. I don't know the brand. I had it for a long time. Um, but yeah, that's my go-to nude lip. Um, and then I did throw two of the Lash Fact Lashes at the bottom just for like an added flair. Um, yeah, so this is what we came up with. I didn't change clothes. I'm not going nowhere, so I'm probably just going to chill in the house like this. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but yeah, I do hope that if you made it this far, I do appreciate you so much for tuning in with me. Thank you so much for all of your support. Um, I really, truly, honestly appreciate it, and I cannot express that enough. Um, I hope that if you do recreate this look, please tag me. I do love when people use my products or even just recreate looks that I did using their own products. I just 
love they engage um so yeah without further ado thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and lastly god bless and i hope to see you in the next one she says she feels safe over here that's what i'm sure we what is this one? um I changed my mind. I did change clothes. Um, I'm just in a good mood. Outside sucks. I wish it was warm, but it is what it is. I'm about to go have my sister take my pictures because haven't done that in a while. And then I'll probably go take myself to Applebee's. I'm not going to lie. Or Longhorn Steakhouse because they did bring back the, um, what's those called? Lamb chops. And for those who know me, know that lamb chops are my jam so yeah that's the move for today i'm trying to like quickly curl my hair before she turns her mind and while i am getting drunk i will be editing this so hopefully i can have this up by tonight so yeah i do really really appreciate y'all like this is turn really really appreciate y'all for tuning in and sticking with me watching this far because i know this is going to be a long video and yeah thank you so much for watching